In this video, I am going to discuss the effect of insertion of dielectric in a capacitor. And this is discussion is divided in two parts. First, when a battery is connected all the time, and in second case, the battery is once charged the capacitor, it is removed, and the dielectric is inserted. And we are going to explore what will happen to the many physical content like uh, energy store in capacitor, the electric pool inside the capacitor, the, its capacitor itself. We are going to discuss this quantity uh, while the dielectric is inserted. In the left side, uh, the discussion of this quantity while the battery is all the time connected, while in on the right side, the battery is battery charge the capacitor and it is removed and then dielectric is inserted in the left side the battery is connected all the time during the insertion of the dielectrics so what are the function of battery here it maintain a constant potential difference across the capacitor all the time everything will change may change but the potential difference across the capacitor will not change so if the battery is always connected the potential difference across the capacitor will remain same while on the right side the charge given to the capacitor will not change because the battery is not connected so charge on the capacitor will be same before and after the insertion the left side of the arrow shows the before insertion insertion of the dielectric and right side of the arrow, right side of the arrow shows the uh, what is what will be the new physical quantity what will be the new value of the physical quantity after the insertion now we see the voltage is same uh, before and after insert in the left side while the capacitance in both cases uh, whether battery is connected or not the capacitance will get k times more because we know uh, capacitance is equal to epsilon naught a by d while if the dielectric is inserted it will be k epsilon naught a by d it means the capacitance will get k times more after the insertion of the battery in both cases now let's discuss what will be effect on the charge in both cases since in the left side voltage is same c become capacitance become k times more so initial charge qi equal to cv and qf final charge will be kcv it means k times more uh, k times q1 so charge will be k times more while in the right side charge is same capacitance k times more so voltage vi equal to q by c and vf equal to q by kc it means vi by k so voltage become k times less so vi becomes vi by k Now electric field, electric field uh, E equal to V by L with a potential difference across the plates of capacitor and L is the separation between the plates. So V I equal to, sorry, E I electric field E I equal to V I by L and final electric field E F equal to V F by L. Since voltage is same before and after and after the insertion of dielectric in the first case in the left case so electric field will be same because it depends upon the voltage while in the uh, in the other case where the battery is not connected 
electric uh, vi vi change to vi by k final voltage equal to vi by k so electric field hence ei ef equal to ei by k so electric field decreases ei become ei by k now let's think about energy energy is stored in the both cases uh, in the first case voltage is constant so we will use half cv square for energy store since v is same this is v square will be same and c become kc so total energy store total energy store will be k times so vf equal to kvi while in the other case where battery is not connected energy store will use the formula u equal to half q square by c since q is same but c becomes kc so to, uh, energy store will be decreases uf equal to ui by k ui by k now we will discuss the another physical quantity energy density in both cases energy density is energy stored in unit volume volume is same in both cases and energy is stored energy store we saw that energy is stored in the first case is k times more while in the other case k time less so half uh, energy density equal to u small u half cv square upon volume in the first case u square is will be same while c become kc so u i equal to half cv square by volume u f u f equal to half kc v square by volume so energy density becomes k times more energy density become k times ui right in other case energy density has the same formula energy store upon volume u equal to half q square by c q square is same but c become kc so energy density equal to initial energy density will be half q square by 2c upon volume while uf uf will be equal to q square by 2kc upon volume it means uf is uf is ui by k energy distance energy density becomes k times less